We do have a very sad update to a story we brought you yesterday. Nathaniel Woods was put to death last night in Alabama, just three hours after it was scheduled to happen. At the last minute, his execution was delayed when the U.S. Supreme Court stepped in, but they ultimately decided not to intervene. Same goes with Alabama governor. This is she. Take a good look. Kay Ivey, who said she would not impede the execution, despite pleas from high-powered advocates like Martin Luther King III, who said afterwards that the actions of the state of Alabama are reprehensible and have potentially contributed to an irreversible justice. Even Kim Kardashian's pleas, which have worked in the past for a stay of execution, were completely ignored. If you don't know the Eighth Amendment, just know this it's uh we can't have punishment that is cruel or unusual like weird shooting or firing squads or things like that horrible ways of punishment to tell someone they're not going to die then they're going to die then they're not going to die then they're going to die i think falls under cruel and unusual and there were so many questions about his cul culpability there were so many questions about how his trial was mishandled I, even i called governor kib last night i did as well i left a message on her voicemail i just think how can you kill this person when all these people were saying there's a problem even the man who did pull the trigger said wait he did not kill anybody yeah you know he didn't pull the trigger so i just don't understand how we just killed him it seems to me and this might be strong words but like a modern day lynching i think that's that what legalized. sean king the black activist said it's a modern day lynching and i want to get your take he said he had no gun he was not violence he was not aggressive and he was giving up and he was put to death they don't care and they flipped it because they're saying that in Alabama you don't have to be the shooter right you, you just have to be a bet. A, 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 a betting. and they and, and, and that's what they stress in the course they brought out rap lyrics that said that he wrote down or, or they ended up being a dr. Dre lyric right. dr. Dre who has a building named after him at USC so at the end of the day and it sounds sad Al I didn't think that he was going to get that stay. Oh. I knew it was going to be overturned. I knew he was going to be dead, man, because we're talking about three white cops that were killed by what you could probably call, or people are going to call, two gangbangers. And you look at the comments, it's just two other gangbangers off the street. It's, it's just but it, Brandon, it's that's so been sad. my point it's the entire so time. Right now, the language that we use to describe people of color, is it, it's twofold. One, one, it's meant to dehumanize, but also not only the person of color, but the person saying it. So you hear it over and over again. When you hear about people of color, whether they be Hispanic or black, they talk about their kids like look how many of them they have mm, look yep. she has 10 kids so when you kill someone it doesn't seem like you're taking away an actual human being it feels like you're just squashing out another roach and there'll be another one right behind it and this kind of language has kind has embedded itself mm. in the way that we speak and the way that we talk and the way that black folks and brown folks are talked about and it makes it easier if this had been a young white girl from florida state would we be having this conversation right now that's a fair question i don't that's think so so let's now. let's be honest about what we're talking about here I have a question for you because I struggled with this last night. And, Lindsay, I, I want you to jump in as well, Tori, please. Why am I so numb to this? Like, why, 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 why am I, like, I, I don't have the power to, to be outraged or I don't want to cry or anything. Why am I so numb to this right now? I don't understand this feeling. You know, I want to, I, I played this audio for a reason. Because I, I want to mention some things before I get into the heart of my commentary. The brother said people of color. We as black folk know that many years ago we used that term when we was talking about ourselves. But over the years, other so-called minorities, so-called minorities that gave strength and numbers to the so-called dominant are starting to get their moments. And when I mean moments, y'all know nigger moment. And when I mean by that, you're being treated like black people. Or you're starting to catch hell like black people. Ever so small. But we as black folk, when we have issues that affect us directly, need to say black people. When you say brown people, you know, you in a way, or people of color now, they trying to separate themselves, but then at the same time trying to include themselves. Our skin is brown too. Maybe a, 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 a little bit more brown. But when you do that <coughs> black brown thing, they they trying to separate themselves from us. But yet the when things that was intended for black folk, they say, Well, I'm a minority too, so you can't have it both ways. 
I'm tired of these reporters and these talking heads and these so-called activists always speaking for everybody else. Because I'm going to remind y'all, them so-called other people of color do not stand with us in large numbers when stuff like this happens. Then the brother who said I was, he said he was numb. He's a younger dude. See, these younger cats, they get numb very quick. Because when we when, 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 when we were kids, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, our uncles, our teachers, our neighbors, they told us what to expect. Because if you notice, if you watch the news when some racial a racial happened. Or some, or, 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 or what they say, racist happened. What's the first thing come out of their mouth? I thought this was in the past. I, I can't believe it's still happening. You have to be brain dead to think that racism has gone the way of the dinosaur. It will always be here until we, as a people, or people of good nature, good will, say enough is enough. Black people have been fighting this war for damn near 500 years. Yes, there are a few people out there who are not black identified and still with us, but that's a small group of people. Just like they said, go online, the languages people are using. I've seen it all. I told y'all, go online. We, you, they, everybody make jokes about our pain. This is why when stuff happened to them, yeah, I may be sympathetic for about, about a hot five, 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 five seconds or so. Then I realize, wait a minute, why am I crying and praying for them when they sit back and, and, and laugh and make jokes and mock our pain? Let me remind y'all, when Trayvon Martin, and I'm going to use Trayvon Martin because it went worldwide. This, this, this story went worldwide because they was even protesting over in Europe. Y'all know George Zimmerman killed that child. But what do people do in the media, in law enforcement, and supposed to be religious people? They vilified that child. They blamed him for getting killed. He shouldn't have been dressed that way. People took up for George Zimmer. You had people in law enforcement took up for, Lord, for George Zimmer. And a lot of people forget that. You had police officers, security officers, going to target practice with Trayvon uh, uh, silhouettes. Remember that? People was making jokes and memes, and when they accidentally showed his image and people screen uh, captured it, they was making, remember Mama P's making jokes, and there was Hispanic people as well that participated in that. There were women, uh, women, uh, grown-ass women, grandmothers, was making jokes. They even went after Trayvon's friend, Rachel Gentile, was talking about how she's speaking. I mean, even on HLE on CNN, they was making fun of her, those white news anchors. They even went to go get uh, Kimberly uh, uh, Goldman. She had nothing to do, what this got to do with Kimberly Goldman? You had George Zimmerman, brother, who was gay, being racist. All these things that, that was going on, black folks was seemed like they were afraid to call it out. And I'm like, yo, why are we calling this stuff out, all these different people out, for what they're doing and what they're saying? And when George Zimmerman was acquitted, he went on a press junket. And people in the media didn't c criticize him like they criticized Trayvon's uh, family or Trayvon. But when George Zimmer started getting into white folk, what did the media do? They started to scatter because they gave him cover. He bragged about killing a child. He started going online picking fights with other people. And notice that so-called community of, of color, the Hispanic community never said anything to this day. When Peter Lyang um, and Horse Claw Committed murder, rape. What was the Asian community in them at? When you have these these Hindus and these Arabs that shoot black people down in their stores because they thought they was going to do something or beat on them or, or attack them, it's nothing never said. So please, please, I want black folks to stop using that term, people of color. 
because before they started getting treated by the Trump administration a certain way, they was joining white supremacy and kick, kicking us in the rear. That being said, this brother should never been executed. But last night, when I, well, yesterday, when I saw Martin Luther King III and various people talking about this on TV, I said that, I said, they're going to execute him. Going to try to appeal to the governor, it wasn't going to happen. Because she has a racist past. Appealing to the Supreme Court, I knew what was going to happen because this ain't the first time the Supreme Court has done this to somebody. You know, when we talk about voting, and I've stated, and I, I know there are going to be people who may disagree with me, voting is important. And I'll tell you why it's important. Every time you turn around, they're trying to find ways to take our vote away from us. So Red that should tell you that it's important. Number two, we're more than 13, 14% of the population. Y'all saw what just happened this past week. Black folks is the one that saved Joe Biden's ass. Just like Obama got elected and reelected, it was black folks. And the reason why I bring that up is because when you vote, you could determine who's going to be your local judges, who's going to be your clerks, who's going to be your treasurers, who's going to be your governors, who's going to be your senators, the state senators, all that. You determine that. But what happened is they program our brothers and sisters to go out and do stupid things. Or they get caught up in the legal system where they can take your vote away, your ability to vote. So your numbers dwindle. So people who don't have your best interests get into politics and they further screw us over. And the reason why I bring that up is because when Obama nominated his, his pick for Supreme Court Justice, Mitch McConnell... <clears throat> and those other sinners did everything to block it. Now, Obama could have could have went around. He could have went around and, and did something. But the Democrats wanted to be high and mighty. And they didn't want to do it because they was afraid that it would blow back in their face if a Republican uh, president and administration gets into office. But because Obama never got his pick, the, when, when Trump came in, he would automatically, he, he, would, he, he, <coughs> he was going to get a pick because one of the justices retired. But because Scalia died, you got two conservatives on that. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Supreme Court is stacked in their favor. The, the, the court system, the judges that Trump put in place, that's lifetime appointments. They are stacked. Those people in their 30s and 40s, that's a lifetime. Think about how we live longer today. If you in your late 30s or early to mid 40s, you might live all the way into your 80s and 90s. And the only way you walk away from that is you resign or death. <coughs> Excuse me. Think about that for a second. So this brother's... Murder, and he was murdered, is on is, is on Mitch McConnell and, and those Republicans. Even the Democrats and, and Obama in, in a way because they didn't fight to get their pick. And the current the current Supreme Court justices that voted that voted for him to be executed, that blood is on their hands, and we need to remind all those people. Even the Obama administration, when you pick. You, you played it safe. You didn't fight hard enough. But you got Susan Rice and them to come out and say something about Gail King. What were they at about this brother being executed? They was quiet. It was crickets. This is not the first time an innocent black person has been put to death. Even the guy who actually shot and killed the police said, hey, this guy didn't do it. But Alabama got, and, and, and some of these others got these laws. If you're in the vicinity, if you know the person, 
You get charged right along with them. In Illinois, they pulled that crap. If you're in a car with somebody that got drugs, you go to jail right with them. Because they assume that you're a part of. And that's, and that's a way of killing two birds with one stone. We just don't destroy one person. Like we destroy the other people's lives. And then you got people online saying, kill them. Throw away the key. But when stuff happens to them, they go defend their people. And they, and they got evidence on a lot of these people that they killers run around. Look what the so-called affluential team. He's a man now. He killed four people. Four people and got a slap on the wrist and can't even maintain the slap on the wrist. Him and his mama went on a run. And it was no outrage. He killed four people. Dylan Roof shot up a church. The police took him to Burger King. It don't take much to dehumanize a black person, male or female, but especially a male. It is Dr. King's son said, please, please stay at execution. It was, they already had the guy in custody. Even that, even the prosecutors in them, they said that had trouble with this. Even one of the victims, the police officer's sisters didn't agree, didn't agree with just executing this guy. It's blood, not just on the governor's hands, it's on it's on the law, law enforcement, the, the court system, but the senators and congressmen and the, the Supreme Court. Other day, you hear um, Chuck Schumer call out the two, the, the two of the Supreme Court justices that Trump, you know, and, and them put in place. And you had the other judge, Roberts, come out. You shouldn't have said that. People, people get the idea to want to do harm to them and not blah, blah, blah. But y'all sit up there and heard people say, yo, this tri- something about this, tr- this, this whole case, this trial is fishy. They didn't care. They figured another dead nigga to them. And this just hasn't happened to black people. It had, there had been cases where white men have been, women have been uh, c- killed. But the, the, the numbers are much larger when it comes down to black people. Black men in particular. Or I should say black males. Because they executed black boys before. Black people still getting shot down in this country. And police officers getting slaps on the wrist. Well, I take that back. White and Asian or Hispanic getting slaps on the wrist. If a black officer get involved in something, they going to jail. This is why I sit there and I say, I know that a lot of us have voted and we haven't gotten nothing out of it, but we got to stay on top of people. You just don't cast your vote and just step back and say, okay, now you, you go out there and do the heavy living. No, you got to stay on these people because you got people playing with our lives. I mean, I want you to think about it. You right now, you watching TV. You hear about this case and many other cases. One day you go out or you at home and something happened. You have to defend yourself. And you get some, you get some wise ass, uh, racist ass prosecutor, some bullshit ass defense attorney. You get the media tilting the coverage one way. You go to jail. You are gonna be sitting there saying, "Why ain't nobody help me? Why ain't the pilot, the, the system work for me?" Well, remember when we had an opportunity to go out there and vote or demand change, we didn't do it. Believe me, I know. As as a black person. You're tired of taking taking t- taking losses. I know. But you have to remember, our grandparents and great-grandparents and them, they went through a lot worse. They didn't have a voice. They had to fight to just to be heard. We have we have the internet at our hand. We have some some of us have disposable income. A lot of us are way more intelligent now. A lot of us say, say we got a network. We got to do. I'm telling you right now. This election cycle and every other election cycle, local especially, is important because your governor, the governor could have put a stop to this. She could have said, let's wait and let's do this over again. If evidence presented itself that he was participating in it, then, hey, go ahead and do what you got to do. But all the evidence pointed to, even the guy that shot and killed, said the guy didn't do anything. What it was, they wanted to see a black man Take 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 a lethal dose. That's what it was. 
they get a hard on, they get wet between the legs when one of us die. You don't believe me? Go on the internet. Watch when this video of black people being accosted and being disrespected. What's the first thing they say? We don't have the whole story. They must have done something. If anybody truly know black folk, we do everything in the world to try to avoid uh, confrontation with white folk and others. It's not until people keep pushing our buttons that's when we snap. That's why that brother shot up that, that Miller's plant up in Milwaukee. I'm not condoning it, but it, that's one, one of the reasons why. That's why Christopher Dorner snapped. He went to his chain of command and said, yo, this is racist. This is, and, and guess what? He was going to Hispanic, uh, he was to Hispanic leadership in the, the, the Los Angeles Police Department. And they didn't want to hear it. And it was a female. They didn't want to hear it. And I want us as black folks to stop talking about a coalition that don't exist. Because where was that outrage from these other so-called minorities? Stop saying people color. Say black folk. Because we don't want to keep taking all the losses. That being said, the governor, Kay Ivey, she, was, she used to be a Democrat then turned to became a Republican. But guess what? I didn't find today, by doing my research on her, <coughs> she dressed in blackface 52 years ago when she was in college. The story, last year the story broke. It didn't make national news. If it did, I don't recall them talking about her in, 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 a lot, in, a, in the way they talk about the, the, the old boy from Canada and that other governor. They didn't talk about her. And you asked think a white woman in Alabama was going to stop an execution of a black man? She didn't care. <coughs> How many stories have we seen and heard just within the last, uh, let's say, eight years? And we know it's going on a lot longer. It's more so, but I'm going to say the last eight years where a white female has lied and said a black person has done something to them. Only to find out that it didn't happen. Or a white female using baby boomers or older <coughs> have gotten caught being racist. Remember the old girl that was talking about Michelle Obama calling the eight and found out she was stealing money? Now, if you're a white person here in this commentary and you're not racist, then I'm not talking to you. I would ask of you to call out those in your community who are racist, but if you don't do it, that means you're a part of it. You're condoning it. This woman should be put on blast in the media. I mean, here it is. How many stories have we heard where they say some evidence of spotty and found out, and they say, stay of execution. But when it gets to a black person, uh-uh. Nah, How many black men and women have gone to jail for petty crimes or been in jail 20, 25, 30 years of their life taken away from them? And even in some cases, they can't even sue the state for wrongful imprisonment. And we get mad and we, we pout, but if you don't control your dollar, don't know your history, you don't, and you don't know how to use your vote, and use it wisely, this will happen. This bitch is racist as fuck. She dressed in blackface. It was wrong in the 60s as, as it is now. And she gonna say, I apologize. I was young. You knew better. It's funny how they hide behind. Well, I was young. I didn't know that the country was different then. No, it wasn't. It was frowned upon back in the goddamn 20s. Right there, she tell y'all what kind of government you're dealing with. That's why she didn't issue a stay of execution. She was Democrat for a minute, then all of a sudden, you get in office, now you're a Republican. What did I tell y'all in my videos, my videos about the, the firepower children, those in the Vietnam era? Yeah, you became liberal 
and you was out there at Woodstock screwing everything around and, and call yourself anti-war, standing with the Black Panthers and Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement, then when that, when, then after a while, when the Vietnam War ended, y'all slowly, surely started saying, I'm a Reagan Democrat. And then y'all say, I'm a Republican. I'm a Tea Partier. I'm a Trumper. Make America great again. Yes, I'm angry because we play into their hands. We give them power. Go online and read the comments how they talking about Mr. Woods. Call him a thug, game banger. He deserved it. People whining for him because he's black. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But guess what? The images that, the, that these corporations promote Playing to these stereotypes, when they, they, when they think of black, they think about game banging, baby daddies, down low, thieves, uneducated, lazy. That's what they think. So when an execution like this happened, they said, this is another dead nigga. So, but yet every Sunday when something happened in this country, like this Sunday, you're going to have black churches praying and taking tithes and rate and say, bring your canned goods in. We can help them people in Tennessee. Fuck them. Yeah, I said it. Fuck them. Well, Harvey, it might be some black folks down there. Yeah, well, uh, hmm. Now, the reason why I say that because it sound mean spirit. That was the intention. Just think about when black folks are, are suffering. You know what they say at home? Fuck them niggers. I got my own fucking problems. They vote against their own economic interests to make sure that you don't have what they think they have. There's a reason why this country don't, you only see, uh, what? Three black governors, Deval Patrick, uh, I forget the one in New York, the, 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 he was blind, I forget, y'all can help me out, and uh, Governor Wilder. It might have been another one, but I only remember three, and I could be wrong. Illinois is a blue state. There have been black men and black women running for governor. They won't vote no black person, Illinois governor, especially downstate. They ain't gonna have no nigga be our governor. Here it is, they was talking about Rob Bogoyevich, but our current governor was on the phone trying to get the Senate seat. And as soon as he get out, yeah, Rob Bogoyevich. And I'm like, the me in the media, let him get away with that. But see, they ignore their criminals. They ignore their hypocrisy. The late uh, uh, police uh, commander, John Birch, he'd been dead, what, going on, what, four or five years now. He tortured black men and women and children, but he sent Innocent brothers to jail. Some of these brothers are just starting to get out or got out within the last decade. When they sent him to court, they sent him to rich people court. And then let him get out and let him go back to Florida and collect his pension. The moment they, they had charges and dirt on him, he, they should have counseled his pension and said, yo, you tortured people. And I would go as far as say he killed people. Nobody brings his name up, not in Chicago, but they're talking about Jesse Smollett all day. The media and the political system and the legal system is a joke, but we can change it. We got power. And, and, and see, the thing is, when it comes down to taking the census, all this stuff that we don't participate in, we helping these people. And we got to get to our young brothers and sisters who are, who are starting to vote. Just don't vote for, for the Democrat. Vote for somebody that's going to work for your economics. And you get them in writing in front of a camera saying what they're going to do. If they don't perform, you vote their ass out. You make corporations work to our, our, our benefit. We got more power than you think. When we keep not voting, you keep getting people like her. She don't, she don't care if that man, family, and friends are, are in pain this morning. Well, I should say this afternoon, excuse me. And 
and then kind of found this this cow was in blackface when she was in college. She knew better. Here it is. You got people saying it was something wrong with the damn trial, and she like fuck it. They did this to that brother in Georgia uh, a few years back when they executed him. And Clarence Thomas could have said, nope, we we didn't step, nope. He voted for, went right along with them. One day, something right now, you get, they scared about this damn virus. Wouldn't it be a hoot or a kick if karma come back and affect their population more? I know people say, damn, that's kind of mean spirit. Notice the areas where it's hitting the hardest at Italy. They think they white. Asia, Iran. These folks that like to travel all over the globe and think they they world travelers. Yeah, what's what's going on? It's hitting you hard, ain't it? Maybe, 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 maybe this some of this some of that racist element. And, and I ain't gonna say everybody who's getting that is racist, but maybe, maybe this is God. This might, might, might get them to think like, "Yo, are we right with the world?" Because you have things like, like, nine like eleven and stuff that happened, and they never say, "Yo, maybe this is karma coming back on us. Maybe we's not as smart as we think we are." God, seriously, what did this affect the affect the, the so called Caucasian? Population and yards numbers. I wonder they're going to sit back and say, "What what brought this on us?" Because they never think that anything that happened to them, they think everything's happened to them is unjust. Who us? Who me? Now y'all can sit there and say I'm being mean spirit, or I shouldn't say that, but no, I'm 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 tired of tap dancing around these people's feelings. They the most sensitive ass motherfuckers on the planet, and then they they don't they they hear they hear they hear. About about people paying a fair, fair, uh, uh, paying taxes and, and and doing doing right and sharing resources. Uh, I ain't not sure nothing because they've been stingy all their freaking lives. They've been violent all their freaking lives. Now, as I said before, there, there's a white men and white women that I know that don't carry themselves this way. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all know don't care. I'm, we're not talking about them. But I will say this, as I said again, if you recognize racism from out and from within your community, you need to challenge it. Because when you don't say anything, you get your K.I.R.E.s and your Donald Trumps and your Mitch McConnells and, 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 and your, Jane, your, your celebrities like James Woods and your Ashy Judds and all of them and your uh, um, Gloria Allreds and them in positions. They use their voice to, 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 to attack people. And, and change the narrative. But when they get that political power, they're going to make sure, they're going to make sure they make you suffer. Former Illinois Governor George Ryan put a moratorium on executions in Illinois because they was they, they found out they was executing people that, that there was evidence suggesting they didn't commit the crimes. And then he caught hell behind it. That's why they sent that man to jail, because they said, wait a minute, he messing us up. We ain't get to kill no niggers, man. Don't get to, don't get to, don't get to, get to watch him beg for their lives or twist their turn. We don't get to see their families cry. Look, I understand if you got somebody dead to rights and you got actual proof, ins- insurmountable proof that that person, well, that person, yeah, I did it. Yeah, you want to punish them. But if there's some evidence or somebody say, hey, man, I don't think this is right. I think you got the wrong person or something added up. You, a human being who have who has some compassion will say, you know what? I don't feel comfortable with this. Remember, she's a white woman. The majority of these white women get off on seeing other people in pain. That's why when they claim they're the victims, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Now they may sound mean spirited, but and, and, but you gotta understand where it's coming from. I didn't I didn't have negative interactions with them. They 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 can they can they nasty. They vindictive. 
Now, as I said before, if it ain't if just if you're not racist, you don't have that kind of mindset. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the ones who are racist, who are racist and arrogant. <coughs> How many videos do we see a week where white women are getting into black men's face, older white women, and saying, "If you do something to me, I'm gonna yell and say you hit me." Then you got then you got some who. Our, our, our Generation Z, Millennials, Generation X, they know how to play the game. Look what they did to Bill Cosby. They wait till that man got old, old, up in age and have health issues. He raped me. No physical evidence, no nothing. But they, the legal system said, we're going to put you in jail. And then when, they, then when, they, when his defense team had witnesses and proof, the judge and the, nope. That's why I was so disappointed in blacks getting on TV, conflate issues, or not saying anything. Look how white America came out in defense of Gayle King just a week before last. That should tell you something. Look how white women came out and was going after Kobe Bryant. The man wasn't even dead an hour and online. And, and yet people in the media, he's a rapist, but he was never charged rape. The woman in question was found out to be a liar. But we seem to forget all that. And then these women keep talking about women break the glass ceiling. She, the women can do this. They're women in, in politics. Mayors, governors, senators, state senators. And they, they keep acting like they're the victim of the world. I'm like, wait a minute. Here it is. That white woman admitted that she lied on Emmett Till. What a, I don't think nobody said go after her and put her in jail or, or put her in the chair. She's an old woman. Let her live her life. Wait a minute. She got to live her life. Emmett Till will always be 14, year, 14 years old. This race is... She could have put a stop to this. She didn't care. I guarantee if there was a black governor and white folk, there was a white guy on, on, on death row and they was about to execute him and they said it was question evidence, I guarantee the sister would have said, let's put a stay and get the facts. If it was a black man it was a governor, he said, let's get the facts. If the Supreme Court truly represent what this country makeup is, the Supreme Court would have said, hey, there's some questions to this. See, they figured you execute him, everybody move on, because we always do. But in the black community, we got to stop doing this. I don't care how old these cases are. Like, people say, well, the, the uh, lynching law is too late. No, it's not. Cause people are still being lynched in this country. Jack Johnson being pardoned, being clear, it's too late. No, it isn't. Because the same black folk were saying it's too late was mad at Obama for not uh, giving, um, oh boy, y'all know what I'm talking about. See, I went blank on brother. Marcus Garvey was the, was the brother's name. I'm sorry. Um, they, 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 they sit back and they constantly vilify our people. They do everything they power to make us as as a community give up or allow for these things to constantly happen. These people are evil to the core. Okay? They get off on seeing our people in pain. They get off on it and they don't care. They don't care. This woman was the governor of Alabama, and that, and she is killing that proud history of killing innocent black folk. The irony is the ones who commit crimes against other blacks, they let them run wild. As long as they terrorize other black folk. But when something happened to one of them, somebody got to pay innocent or not. 
I say this to my brothers and sisters. What you do this election is up to you. If you feel that you don't want to vote, I can't get mad at you. Because I understand where it's coming from, where the apathy come from. But at the same time, every day, every day is something going on in this country with the legal, legal, with the legal system and law enforcement and policies that are grinding our people under. <laughs> My prayers go out to the family and friends of Nathaniel Woods. But I'm going to tell you right now, yesterday I was not shocked. Because this happened more frequently than you think. 